Hi, and welcome back to another installment of Stories Behind the Dooney. Yes, you heard correctly. I will be sharing my personal journey of the Dooney's that I've collected over the years and the stories behind me getting those bags. So let's get into it. So I just completed my unboxing and um, story behind this particular Dooney. And guess what? I deleted the video by mistake. The whole time I was sitting here deleting other stuff, I said, well, I've seen where other people say that they've deleted. I'm not gonna do that. And woo, I did it. So let me backtrack. I just did my unboxing. I still have the box sitting here on the floor. I just opened this lovely box. It came from Redlands, California. Um, yeah, took out all of the stuffing. It actually didn't have anything um, around or surrounding this particular bag. It was just stuffed in there. It was just in there. I did get this lovely sticker, which is the first sticker that I've acquired, which I'm excited about because I've seen people got have several of the boxes. This is my first one. And the bag of choice is the Dylan, the small barrel crossbody dealing one bag that i um sent back to dooney um, earlier this year really at the start of the pandemic or the quarantine and i've had it since i believe it was 2018 2018 and months later this little piece of the purse um, broke apart don't know why don't know how you see how tiny this bag is it's really really tiny and you don't need to put much in it which was the purpose of me buying this it's a crossbody um it's small put my phone my keys in there and my cocoa butter uh swivel stick and that's it that's all i needed and for some reason it broke so it took me up until April of this year to send it back to Dooney for which they indicated that they could not repair it, nor could they replace it because they did not have any more in stock in this color. I know that they had a black one, but they didn't even ask me if I wanted the black one. So they sent me the letter. They told me that they could give me a credit uh, if I did not get in contact with them to get the bag replaced or what have you or sent back so i opted to not call and for them to just send me the bag back and i figured that i could get this piece fixed some kind of way well as of last friday um i looked on their site which i do several times a day and i saw that this bag was back in stock in this color grass along with several other colors and i was just like oh i have to have it but do i call them and assume that this is going to be um expedited as far as getting my replacement or do i just go ahead and order this and then contact them and try to get another color replaced instead and so what i opted to do was just go ahead and get it because i'm happy that i did i did call customer service they indicated that they would get back with me this week i have not heard back from them i called them on last friday as well as on monday and i haven't heard from them so i will be calling them the following week next week to discuss replacing my bag not in the color grass but give me another color please please because i want this so i'm excited to have this back in my life i bought this bag with the intentions of really starting a collection of crossbodies because i enjoy having crossbodies i've enjoyed them for years they've usually been bigger but i i've opted for the smaller bag and so I'm very, very excited and happy about this being back in my world. I love this bag because this is really the first Dylan that I've had. And I think I'm going to get another eventually. I love the fact that this is still pebble grain. And it's just that the hardware on here is different. The emblem is different. It's like a window where the duck sits. And you can see the leather in the background of that. So I just love how that is um, designed and crafted uh, of course, the inside of this bag is still the same. You have the pocket, you have the zipper, um, you have the key reminder, as I like to call it. Uh, you do have the number, the tag. Let's see. Yes, the tag, the Dooney tag with the number in the back. You know what? I was about to say I didn't get my card, but I didn't open this to see if it was in there, and it is. They really had it folded up just like this. This That's how small this bag is. Normally, your cards are going to be, you might get it halfway folded. Or you more than likely will get it like this. But mine's was in there. You saw me how I just unzipped it and took it out. Yeah, that's how it is. 
but I enjoy I, I I love this bag and I'm really really happy to have it back in my life so that is my story and I'm sticking to it please subscribe to my page because I have a few more newbies that I will be showcasing as well as some old ones that I have yet to record and talk about I'm trying to make sure that my shirt is not doing what it's doing because in the previous video it did and I was just like ooh, I need to fix that so Thank you for tuning in. Please, please follow up and watch uh, my previous videos as well as like the videos and stop by my Facebook group page, Stories Behind the Dooney and join in the fun. Thank you and have a good one.